When it comes to customizing a machine, the Western riders really do lead the way. In fact, when we sit down and talk to some of the suppliers, it's like a different language. External wastegate. All the SLP. Team tied clutches. Hooker cans. A2 drivers. D-band housing. We toured some of the vendors at the Edmonton Snowmobile Show to find out what is being done to these modded machines. Well, the new sleds from uh, Skidoo come out in the T3 models, which are the 163 and the 174 three-inch tracks. Uh, very good, very capable sleds. Uh, we've been making little improvements with uh, rear brackets to stiffen up the bracket that comes back for the guys who go hard in the trails. We've got stiffeners for the tunnels, nice specialized logo. We've got C3 belt drives for them to get rid of the, belt, uh, belt br or the chain breakage. Well, on these particular sleds for the big tracks and whatever, we, uh, we do the team tied clutches. The actual clutch will actually come off and you can do the alignment. We have uh, Raceworks tower braces that keep everything from moving in and out. This particular one has a race clutch with uh, quick clickers on it so you can adjust the RPM in three seconds rather than 10 minutes. It is a true mountain can. The fitment is perfect. The sensor is perfect. Uh, I mean, our sales have tripled on these cans from last year. You can do tons of bolt-on stuff, easy access. You can do all the SLP stage two kits, the cooker cans, three inch tracks, um, anywhere from minor expenses to full blown turbo kits, anywhere from six grand to 10 grand, carbon panels, vent kits, uh, it's kind of endless. Um, I think because of the prices of the aftermarket bolt-on stuff, some of it's coming down. Um, the reliability on them is incredible. So everyone's kind of, whether it was gun shy and scared before, is jumping on board and got no worries now. Yes, it's getting uh, more and more and more every year. As you can see, our booth keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. We got a lot of new things out this year for TSS. Um, we've come out with a new InstaBoost kit. Um, it's got a self loop turbo, external wastegate, V-band housing. Um, we've cleaned the kit up a lot from our previous kit. So that's one new thing on the Skidoo. Um, another new thing on the Skidoo this year is we refined our boards, our strong boards. Um, just making them more the way people want them. And then a third thing that we did this year for the Skidoo is we came up with a quiet stinger. Um, we've always had a loud stinger that's worked really well in the mountains. And we wanted to build a quieter one that didn't get loud on top end, just maintained the same noise level. And so we have that this year now too. We're really excited about it. Um, it's built for low elevation and high elevation, and it's just a good sounding stinger. We started out uh, building carbon fiber uh, snowmobiles and parts and that, and, uh, and then we got into the uh, XP Skidoo snowmobiles, building complete carbon fiber chassis and, and uh, hoods and everything. And uh, we had a customer that was really wanting us to produce a belt drive for him. And, uh, so we went down the road, kind of figured out a, a belt drive that switched from a, a gear drive reduction to a belt drive, and that kind of started the whole thing, and uh, it ramped up from there, and, and now we build belt drives for all models of sleds, and uh, go from there. We're building carbon fiber parts, aftermarket carbon fiber parts, mostly for the Polaris right now, mostly hoods, side panels. Uh, we're starting to do tunnels as well, and some suspension. Boy, it's been a lot of years, uh, that's a lot of evolution. We used to build sleds from scratch. and I mean, it was so good in the old days. I mean, we used to go up hills, people couldn't go down. Uh, sleds have evolved a long way from then, but uh, it's a growing sport. There's more young people riding. Uh, everything's good, you know, it's just true and wonderful. It seems that no matter how light, long, or powerful sleds are built, for some there is the need to make their machine the way they want them. And nowhere is this more evident than out in the backcountry.